Welcome to our virtual tour of the Stanton Craftsman. Please note that this home is under construction and the home is not yet complete. Looking at the front of the home, you'll notice the 812 roof pitch which runs across the main roof, but that's accented by the 1212 pitch on both the gables above the front porch and the garage. These gables are accented with brackets at the front of the home and five and a half inch craftsman trim with eight inch craftsman trim on top is featured around the windows. Both the windows and the doors on this home feature the mission grid style. The front door and side lights are easily a focal point for this home. The wood grained fiberglass front door and side lights are both stained in the color coffee. With all of the beautiful land surrounding this home, it's not hard to picture summer evenings on that wonderful front porch. Added to the front elevation, it features a craftsman style post with a stone base. We've already talked about summer evenings on the front porch. Now let's talk about summer days on the added back porch. Measuring approximately 44 feet by nine and a half feet deep, the covered concrete porch that stretches across the great room and the owner's suite meets up with an about 16 foot by seven foot covered concrete porch off the rear of the dining room. This section features a cathedral ceiling and all of this is tied together with five and a half inch white PVC posts. To complete the custom exterior of this home, board and batten siding was added in the gables, replacing the shake siding that typically comes with the craftsman exterior. In addition, full stone on the front of bedroom three and the garage bump out was added instead of the stone wainscoting across the front of the home. You'll also notice that the stone foundation wrap continues around the entirety of the home, and that is accented by the Prodigy vinyl siding in the color charcoal smoke. Upon entering the foyer and this home, not only will you notice the mindful gray paint that you see throughout, but how much light is coming in those six foot windows at the rear of the great room. Entering into the den, you'll see that this space has been squared off at that rear corner and a sliding barn door has been added. Recess light is along the ceiling and will add some excellent lighting to this space. The nine foot ceilings throughout the home really do a lot to make the space feel big and wide open. Barn doors in the front entry make for a seamless way to close off your spaces without the hassle of any swinging doors. A few changes to note for this plan would be that there was width added to the center of the home, making that great room approximately 20 foot wide. By doing that, it created a hallway between the stairs, half bath, and laundry room. By swapping the half bath in the closet, this locates the half bath nearest to the garage and closest on the foyer side. Featured on the rear wall of the great room, you'll notice the gas fireplace with a stone face and barn beam mantle, truly making this the focal of the room. The stone featured here is the Lake Point dry stack with an ivory hearthstone and smoked oak stain for the barn beam mantle. This great room and kitchen area will be home to so many family memories with kids and grandkids alike. Shiplap was added in both the kitchen and the great room to tie these two spaces together. The beautiful kitchen on the side of the home has so many custom touches by this homeowner. A cooktop cabinet and wall oven replace the included range space, and the pantry door was shifted over to add space for that wall oven at the front wall of the kitchen. Above the cooktop, you'll notice a pot filler has been added. The customer added for Durham Pier style cabinets in the color toasted colada, and eventually there'll be crown molding added to the top of the cabinets. Tuscan bronze is featured throughout this kitchen and pairs so nicely with the farmhouse sink in the color cashmere. Off the rear of the kitchen, you'll notice the dining room. A four foot bump was added to the back of the dining room to increase that space. And a three panel sliding door replaced the included slider on the rear wall. Two additional windows were added on the side of the dining room to really increase the natural light that flows into this space. And boy, is it paying off. Additional windows were added through the entire home and can not only be found in the dining room, but bedroom two and three as well.
Down the hall to the owner's bedroom, you immediately open up into a sun-bathed space. You'll notice a hinged patio door replace the window on the rear of the owner's bedroom, and this leads to the covered concrete porch that we saw earlier. Smaller windows were added to the side exterior wall of the owner's bedroom and are about three feet by three feet. This owner's bathroom is something straight out of a spa. With the shower and tub locations swapped to the side exterior wall of the bathroom, the garden tub is replaced with a freestanding tub. About a foot of depth was added to this owner's bath and pushed the garage forward to ensure that they had plenty of room in this space. The double vanity features Radford maple cabinets that are stained burlap. Eventually, bronze faucets will go at this vanity and cultured marble vanity tops will tie in the whole look. The laundry room could not be more perfectly located. Benton birch burlap cabinets can be seen throughout the entirety of the laundry room, as well as crown molding that will eventually go on top of those cabinets. Just off of the great room is the half bath. The first thing you'll notice is that a vanity replaced the included pedestal sink. The cabinet that's featured is the Lillian Pierce style in the color Admiral. The secondary bedrooms are second to none, featuring large six foot windows and huge closet space. These rooms will be great for family. The Craftsman 3 trim style made for a beautiful addition to this home and you can see it featured along the baseboards as well as the trim around the doors and windows. The main bath was changed to fit exactly what this family needs. The bathroom has been combined into one space instead of two, and the linen closet access that was originally inside of the bathroom is now accessed from the hallway instead. For even more storage, the vanity features drawers throughout the entire thing and a linen closet cabinet added directly next to it. The stairs were opened up and finished and transitioned seamlessly into the great room. They feature rail and spindle, as well as box newel posts, and an oak skirt board, treads, and risers. Heading down into the basement, you'll notice that a steel beam replaces a wood beam on the nearest point of the home in the basement. This will eliminate a lot of those posts that you see coming down into the concrete. A 13 course basement with 10 inch block replaced the included 12 course and two egress windows have been added, both on the side under the secondary bedrooms. You'll notice throughout the interior and exterior of this home that the customer opted to make lots of custom changes and the perk of custom building is that those are all up to you. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour of the Stanton Craftsman. We'll see you again soon.